Hi, my name is Peggy Shuni, the artist, and my latest piece just uh, finished this past week. This is my first round piece of artwork, and I want a little bit about why uh, I did some things that I did, because there are some things that I was really particular about, and then some other things that were more variable, where the looker or listener or viewer might have a different take on what they see. First of all, I, this piece needs to be laid out this direction. I've tried all different ways. I studied it, looked, and this is the direction um, that this piece would need to be laid out um, based on where it is on the substrate. So this is your option for viewing. Another thing that I know to be true about it is that these pieces of larger pieces of slate, and remember these are slates that have been used in previous times from a roof, they are laid out to be for me, more like a path. So you have a path that someone might be walking through here or people might be walking through here. You have another path over here of varying widths and areas and then the next path up here and then uh, a final path here that you don't quite see the full edge of. And what I liked about the roundness of this piece is that you have um, a better idea of a continuation of what's going to be going on outside of the piece. So in my square pieces, I couldn't quite help the viewer see past what was going outside, on outside the piece. And I feel that I'm able to do that more so in a round piece. Also, what I know to be true is with this path, I didn't want it to be highlighted the same as the divisions of the path. So I have colors that you would see um, mimicked within the slate itself. So using slivers of slate and also small tea and stone, but the glue, uh, which is the thin set I used, is kind of a light brown to be the same color as the slate. So it looks like it's more of a continuation in this direction um, with each of these areas. And then another um, piece that I knew to be true is the blue, the blueness. Whether it be water, whether it be movement, air, I'm not sure what it means to you, and I'm not sure that I have a definitive answer of what it means to me, but I knew there needed to be a thickness and thinness of blue going through and around each of these pieces. And I wanted this blue to be separated by slivers of slate, highlighting each of the blue and separating from each person's path, but yet also continuing them as the material uh, continues from the slivers of slate and uh, also the material of the small tea and stone continues. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about what the blue means to you, uh, what the full piece means to you. Thanks.